Acrobat started rolling out a whole new look in 2023, and it's pretty disorienting if you've been using Acrobat for a long time. I'm Adrian Montgomery, your PDF markup expert for editors and proofreaders, and this is a quick orientation to help you find the tools you know and love so you can get back to work. The new Acrobat looks like this. The first thing you'll notice if, is that they've reversed where the tools are. So the page and bookmark tools are on the right. They're not on the left anymore over here. The comments are still here. They're just nested within these options. Also, what you're used to across the top, the page navigation and zoom in and zoom out buttons are now down here on the bottom right. To find the tools, we don't see options on the right here as we used to. Now we have to click on this All Tools button at the very top left. And that opens up the customary list that you're used to seeing on the right. So you can see how they've swapped where these things are. Editors and proofreaders marking up page proofs or any other kind of proof in a PDF are looking for comments, not the edit tools. We only mark changes. We're not actually changing the PDF. When I click on add comments, we see this bar expand a little bit, this bar of tools right here. The tools are no longer across the top of the screen as they used to be. I'm going to close this all tools panel and that bar of tools remains. Now the little swirly that says draw freehand, when I click that, we see the drawing tools that we're used to from the old version, like the pencil, which is now called draw, line, arrow, text callout, circle, rectangle, etc. You can select any one of these and use it on the page. And notice that the icon changes, so you have to remember that that's where you were. If I want to keep on using an item like drawing, I can click the pin to pin it in place. When it's pinned, it's upright. And then I can keep drawing, keep using that tool until I select a different tool or unpin it. If I use it now once, then it defaults back to the select. I just want to go to the next page here, so I'm going to click down in the bottom right. If you want to use other markup tools, you need to add them to this toolbar. That can be done simply in the customize area here. I'm going to click that again and it opens up a customized toolbar pane. So all of our drawing tools are here. We want to click on comment and select the items that you like to see. I'm going to cl click stamps, for example, and I'm going to click the little plus here to add it to the toolbar and it adds to the bottom. One tool I found it hard to find so far is the comment in a box tool that I like for leaving visible instructions on the page rather than the um, sticky note, which is not connected to any text or anything you can select on the page. So I added that, that's the box. And you can, I've added the stamps, which is important because a lot of people use that for their markup. So now I have the standard, uh, where I'm used to seeing the stamps palette. Uh, actually, you can click and open the entire stamps palette or you can use these shortcuts here. So now I can select a stamp and apply it as usual. There are other videos that show how to use all of these tools. I'm only going to show you where to find the tools that you're used to. So now I have added some tools to this floating panel. And we'll just go through them one by one. At the very top, you find the select versus pan options. The second one has the annotation tools for inserting text and replacing text and adding that text box. And you'll note that the icon changes depending on what I've selected. So you have to remember that the second and third one does. So the third one, highlighting, underline, and strike through, which would be used for deletions, 
our drawing set of tools. The draw tool is the pencil we're used to, even though it shows a different icon now. And the handy arrow, text callout, circle rectangle, and so forth. Signing, which isn't a task that editors do usually, except for contracts, but still useful. And I noted that that collapsed when I clicked the signatures, but all the options are still there. So I click back on drawing so I can see those again. We have the erase tool for erasing parts of drawings. Again, this is not the full course, just orientation. And I'll get these back. You can pair the selection of any tool, such as for the arrow, with the pin to make sure it stays selected. That's very handy if you're using a proofreading stamp, such as the comma. I've got the pin selected so I can keep placing insert commas everywhere. And of course, the color and line thickness selections. The pop-ups work a little differently. So here we see a call-out tool that I can then type in. I'm going to type nonsense as I always do. And then if I click away from that, we see that the text appears here in the comment on the right panel as we're accustomed to. And I can double click to get into it and change that. They've added the little uh, post and cancel that I'm probably used to seeing from other interfaces now. So make sure you click post if you're changing anything. For example, I will click in here and I will type dog and then I click post to finalize that comment. The find tool is a little bit different, but it does have this added usefulness that you can search for tools as well as text in the document. So for instance, if I want to find the callout tool, I just type callout and it shows me that it's in the add comments area. And for some reason, measuring objects also came up, but that's handy. So it'll show me where it is and select it just by searching up here. That should get you started. Uh, if you don't want to continue with this and it's too much, you're in a hurry to learn this new set of muscle memory, you can revert to the old Acrobat look by going to the view menu at the top there and selecting disable new Acrobat. And that will take you back to the form that we saw before. You have to restart to make that show. So we're just going to cancel out of here. That should get you started for the full course in using this new version of Acrobat. Go to EIW365.com where there's a complete guide to the markup. Good luck out there.